Hey, it's Yomi here. So today I wanted to film a book unhaul video and there are many reasons why I could be unhauling these books. One, because I probably at one time had motivation and incentive to actually pick these books up and then over the time I just lost all desire to actually like pick these books up. It could be because I DNF the book and I just wasn't feeling the main character or because something was infuriating or annoying or insufferable and I know I'm not going to be, have enthusiasm to give the author or and or the book a second chance. There could be series in here that I started off loving and then they just went downhill for me and I'd rather stop a series where I know that I'm having major issues with and that it's annoying and that it's you know making me want to burn the book or making me have serious issues with the book I'd rather stop it than stop continuously be salty or create drama or just hate on the author because I've learned that that's the best thing to do and I know that books are supposed to give you emotions you know you're supposed to have an array of feelings when you're reading books but when you're noticing that too many of these feelings are negative you know that you need to, you know, reorganize your thoughts, see what you're reading, and if it's actually appropriate for you to actually continue reading these books. So, you know, there are some that I decided to be like, you know what, I'm going to stop. I'm going to let the people who love these books continue to love them. But I, as a person, cannot continue reading them just because I'm finding many issues with these books. And also, disclaimer, just because I'm getting rid of these books doesn't mean, and if they're your favorites, doesn't mean that I hate you for loving these books. I applaud you for loving these books. There are books for everybody out there. Reading is subjective. And I would love to have loved these books being redundant. But, you know, there was something about them that I just didn't feel or that I just didn't like about these books. And, you know, I'd rather give them to other people people who would love them than for me to continuously have them and just continue to hate on them because you know I, I don't like to create drama I'm not that kind of person I if I have issues with books I'll tell you which are the issues that I have with books but I will get rid of them because you know if I didn't like them like I said I'm gonna give them to somebody else who is going to hopefully eventually love these books so without further ado let's get into the books that I'm going to be unhauling the first one that I'm going to be mentioning is Assassin's Heart by Sarah Adheres. This is a Romeo and Juliet. It has shades of Romeo and Juliet retelling, um, or, you know, or, you know, shades of it. Um, and it's basically about an assassin that one day um, wakes up to her um, mansion or guild, whatever it's called. I don't remember right now because I read this like a while ago. And it's basically burning and all her family is in there. So she wants to um, seize revenge. Unfortunately, she's real clumsy. And I just, I, I, there were moments where I just hated it and this is a standalone there is a companion to this book but I just I couldn't feel anything about the main character I thought like I said she was really dumb and there were things that not even me who's not an assassin wouldn't do and I'm here like woman what what the hell is happening you know and it was just infuriating at times and I'm just like I was like you know what I'm never gonna pick this book up again so I'm gonna give it to somebody who's actually going to love it probably a lot more than I actually did the next book that I'm going to be getting rid of is Talon by Julie Ka Kagawa. I DNF this book at page okay at page 204. Um, it's basically because of the main character. I was not feeling the main character. I thought she was really annoying, and there were moments where she was contradicting herself a lot. And I loved her brother. He's one of the characters that I really did love. But we didn't get um, chapters from his perspective. There was also this rogue dragon that's introduced because we have shape shifting dragons, and there's this um, organization that's hunting these dragons down and killing them. But I just. I didn't like this rogue dragon that was being introduced and I didn't like the way that she was acting with him. It was just there were many moments that I was just like, you know what? I tried as hard as I could, but I just I couldn't continue because the main character was really insufferable. And I was like, you know what? Let me just DNF it because even though I love a side character, it's not enough for me to actually continue reading the series. And I'm so sad buy this because I had high hopes for these books. Like I love dragons and shape-shifting dragons within a story I was gonna you know I, I was gonna fangirl like completely fangirl but unfortunately it didn't deliver and that's where you know it becomes really sad you know the next book that I'm going to be mentioning is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children I bought this book because I saw the movie and I did well not the movie I saw the trailer of the movie that's what I wanted to say and I thought that it was really intriguing and I was like, you know what, let me pick up the book, let me read the book first, and then I'll watch the movie. But unfortunately, it's been on my TBR for quite some time, and I haven't had the incentive, motivation to actually like sit down and read it. So I'm going to be getting rid of it and giving it to somebody who would love it more than I would. I would like to see the movie, though. It's something that does, you know, intrigue me. So maybe I might watch the movie and I'll hear the audiobook for this. But as of right now, like physically sitting down and reading it, 
I have no desire and that's sad. The next book that I'm going to be mentioning is The Island, The Islands at the End of the World by Austin Aslan. I the only thing I think I remember about this book is that it took place or that it takes place in Hawaii. Aside from that, it's been on my TBR for more than 2 years. And there are moments where I want to read it. Yes, it takes place in Hawaii. And there are other moments where I don't want to read it. And as of right now, I'm going to be getting rid of it. Because, like I said, I, don't, I lost incentives for me to actually like, sit down and, you know, pick it up. And it's sad because I really wanted to love this book and, like, sit down and read it and love it and enjoy it. But there hasn't been anything that's motivated me to sit down and pick it up. So, yeah. The next one that I'm going to be mentioning is Flame in the Mist by Renée by Rene Arié. I have problems with this book because I noticed that there's a bookmark here on page 322 and for the life of me, for the life of me, I could have sworn that I finished this book and when I check my notes, there's no review in my notes for it. I also didn't give it a star rating, but I remember watching a video where I said that I finished this book. So the debate is, did I actually finish the book? Or did I think that I finished the book and I created a mental ending for it in my mind? You know what? These are one of the mysteries that the world is never going to solve because I have no idea like what the hell happened with this. And I wanted to love this book, but unfortunately I didn't. Um, it was sold to me as being, you know, a Mulan retelling. And even though there are shades, like sprinkled little shades in there, I didn't feel this to be a Mulan retelling. I also thought that the main character when she dresses, when she acts, or when she is as a boy speaking to another boy, I always felt that it was a woman speaking with a man and not a man speaking with a man, and those were issues that I was having. I did enjoy or love the main character's brother. He was someone that I was loving because he was tenacious and he wanted to um, get his sister and bring her back because he wanted to save her. But there wasn't anything actually like making me continue with this series, even though I love the cover and I would love to have loved this series. I just, I couldn't feel the main character. I couldn't feel the things that were happening, especially um, that conversation between them. It didn't, you know, it didn't wow me, especially like, like I said, I thought that it was a girl between a boy instead of a boy between a boy. And, you know, I just, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't. I tried, but I couldn't. The next book that I'm going to be mentioning is Beauty and the Beast. I picked this book up at one time. I don't know why. I just, I just picked it up and I've never read it. So I'm going to give it to somebody that actually will read it. That, that's sad, right? The next book that I'm going to mention is Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies. I remember that there is a movie. I still haven't seen the movie. But like I actually wanted to read the book. And yeah, it's been on my TBR forever. Yep. I don't know. The next one that I want to mention is The Siren by Kira Cass. This one has been on my TBR the longest because I remember that when I started my booktube, this was the first, or these were some of the first books that I bought. And it is like a siren inspired um, story and it's like she falls in love with a man. And it, but yet the waves or you know the ocean calls to her and that's all I really know. And there was a point where I really wanted to read it. And then I just, you know, I kept on hearing like really negative reviews about it. And then I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to pick it up. And even though I wanted to, there was nothing compelling me to actually like sit down and, you know, start it. Because it was something that really did sell me. But unfortunately, I don't know what happened that I was just like, you know what? Let me just leave it as is. Because I think for me, this was a cover buy because I thought that the cover was really beautiful. But I don't know. Sometimes I have horrible choices for books or just you know don't ever leave by cover buys <laughs> said no one ever uh, the next book that i'm going to be speaking about is the trials of apollo by Ry rick riordan okay this is something that my friend pointed out to me and yeah it is true i i rick riordan is one of those authors where i have difficulty like actually starting or getting into because i did try the percy jackson and lightning thief series and i dnf the first book and i tried this one i read the first paragraph thought it was hilarious i thought that the main character was going to be witty and it's been sitting on my tbr for probably like a couple probably a year year and a half probably more i don't know the next series that i'm going to be speaking about is one that i'm really sad by because i really love the first book like i put aside all the flaws that it that it had and i just enjoyed the first book and the, that series that i'm going to be speaking about is the summoner series the novice i loved the novice it was such a beautiful story like i said i put aside all the flaws and i loved fletcher i thought he was just like a sibling to me ignatius was a uh 
salamander that I really did love and I love the world these demons you know befriending humans I thought it was a really interesting concept but then the Inquisition came along and the Inquisition infuriated me on such a huge level that I was just rolling my eyes constantly um, it had that second book syndrome and I just I really didn't feel many of the things that were happening but I wanted to continue because I wanted to know what was gonna happen to Fletcher and the rest of the gang but it ended on the cliffhanger and then I picked up the battle mage which i have conflicting emotions but the ending was really good and it's a series that i wanted to love but unfortunately i know that i'm never ever going to be picking these books up again i might be picking up the first one because like i said i really did love the first one but unfortunately i don't know if that's enough incentive for me to actually like, continue like having these books on my shelves or just giving them to somebody else who might enjoy them so i don't know as of right now this is like tentative whether I get rid of it or not but like I know that I'm never going to read these books again because I'm not going to read a book that I have issues with but I don't know we'll see we'll see on that one because that's a series that's going to really like hurt me personally the next trilogy that I'm going to be mentioning is the fifth wave series I did read the first book it didn't wow me I really enjoyed the movie I thought that it was a, a good decent ish adaptation um, I didn't like that there were many changes, but I did like the alien because he's one of the characters that I did like in the book. But like, I thought that this really wasn't, it didn't wow me, it wasn't original for me per se. I thought that there were a lot of things from different genres that were all meshed together for him to create his own um, um, kind of post-apocalyptic world where aliens try to take over the world. And even though I loved the father figure, he was really cute and I loved her brother and I, I enjoy what she stood for and how she wanted to continue to fight. It was just it was just something that, you know, didn't wow me to actually like continue the rest of the series. And it's sad because I managed to pick up the other two. I picked up the Infinite Sea and I picked up the Last Star. And they've been on my TBR for forever. So this is a series that I'm definitely going to be getting rid of because I just I lost the drive and desire to actually like read these books. And the next one that I'm going to be mentioning, there's a lot of them. So just, you know, bear with me. But unfortunately, I am going to be getting rid of... Oh, I'm sorry, I moved it. I'm going to be getting rid of the entire Throne of Glass series. Um, this is a series that I've had major issues with. I loved the first book. I put aside any and every flaw that it had. Um, oh, I hit my glasses. But unfortunately... I don't know what happened with this series, man. The second book was okay. I enjoyed it. The ending is a bit um, debatable for me. But Air of Fire came in and just effed everything up for me. Um, this was rare. This had a slow ass pace. I had moments where I just wanted to skim read um, things. There were chapters that I, I wanted to skip. But I, you know, I, I pulled through and I read them. The Manon chapters, I could have cared less about. I could have cared less about these new characters that were being introduced. And even though I have to admit that, you know, Alien does have a lot of growth in this book, I was just infuriated so, so much by it. But you know what? That wasn't the one that infuriated me the most. No, it was this one. I even have a discussion about this book. This piss me the f out like you have no idea like i even have strong emotions right now so you know this was also another book where it dragged and i even have a full review on goodreads for this one and like i said i made a video about it so if i manage to link it i'll link it but like this was just like wow talk about a book pissing you the f off it's this one you know there were moments when i just wanted to burn it there are moments when i wanted to throw it against the wall and I just, I have many, many things to say about this, but we're going to continue because if not, you know, we'll make this a 50 minute video. Then I picked up, well, I picked up the Assassin's Blade in between um, Crown of Min, no, I think it was after Air Fire. Yeah, I was, it was after Air Fire, but I highly suggest for you to read this book first so you can basically get you into the world so you can like actually know everything that's already transpired. So when you start reading these books, you're not going to be like, wait, what? What the hell happened? Especially in Air of Fire because there's a lot of things that are being introduced. There were some novellas that I liked. There were others that I was like, well, it was a waste of time. Then I decided to pick up Tower of Dawn on audiobook. And even though I love Kale, there's nothing 
nothing that will ever make me hate Kale because he's a character that I I like and know it's because I don't ship him with Selena. After the end of the second book and because of certain things that were said in Air of Fire, I do not ship him. I don't ship her with Dorian either. Um, I just think that, you know, Sarah J. Mass did a good job at making people hate Kale, I think. You know, that's how I, I, how I see it, but I love Kale. I'm always going to love him, but in Tower of Dawn, he was insufferable. He was insufferable, and I just, I wanted to take him and just smack him, and there was so many testosterones, like, way up in the clouds. There was also so many, like... Okay, Kale, we get it. You know, you thrust it. What do you want else to say? Like, it, it was just... Uh, uh, it was, it was like... Uh, it was really infuriating, like, honestly. And I did pick up Empire Storm at one time. I think I picked up Empire Storm when I had finished the second book. And I really hadn't started the third book. As of... I finished the second book i really did enjoy this series i didn't know it was gonna go downhill but i haven't read empire storms i don't want to read it just to be salty so i decided to just dnf this book and dnf the series as a whole because you know if one book you're having issues you're okay if it's two it's like that's a lot but three you're like no i can't continue but those are all the books that i'm going to be unhauling um i want to thank you for watching if you've gotten rid of books then please let me know which have you gotten rid of because I'm also curious. I have gotten rid of other books. I've just never done an unhaul video. I did get rid of The Edge of Everything because that book like really... Oh, I had many, many issues. Unfortunately, I had many personal issues with that book. I do have a review on Goodreads based on that. But like, I want to thank you for watching if you've lasted this long because as of right now, it's a 16 minute video. Um, I want to thank you for watching. I hope that you have a great day and I will see you next time. So peace.